Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. A party has 100 people who are either liars or truth tellers. Liars always lie and truth tellers always speak the truth. After the party is over, you ask each person, how many truth tellers did you shake hands with? Each person gave a different answer ranging from the numbers 0 to 99. The answers were the whole numbers from 0 to 99. How many liars were at the party? Give this problem a try and when you're ready keep watching the video for the solution. This logic problem seems impossible because you do not know which people shook hands with each other. However, we can deduce from their answers how many people at the party were truth tellers and how many people are liars. We'll start by labeling each person. We'll say person 99 is the one who replied to have shaken hands with 99 truth tellers. Similarly, person 98 said to have shaken hands with 98 truth tellers. We'll continue this labeling all the way down to person zero who shook hands with zero truth tellers. Let's consider first person 99. Imagine person 99 was a truth teller. What could we deduce from that? If person 99 is a truth teller, that would mean person 99 must have shaken hands with everyone else, all other 99 people at the party. And because that person said they shook hands with 99 truth tellers, that means everyone else at the party must also be a truth teller. But person 99 would have then also shook hands with person zero who is said to have shaken hands with zero truth tellers. How can person zero have shaken hands with zero truth tellers and be a truth teller? One possibility is that 99 and zero did not shake hands. This would mean person 99 is a liar or person zero shook hands only with liars, which would also mean person 99 is a liar. It's not logically possible for person 99 to be a truth teller. Therefore, person 99 must be a liar. We will identify person 99 accordingly. Now that we know person 99 is a liar, what else can we figure out? Let's look at person 98. If person 98 is a truth teller, that would mean person 98 shook hands with persons 0 to 97, and all of those people must be truth tellers. We can make this deduction because we know 99 is a liar. If you exclude person 99, we're left with person 0 to 97, which are only 98 people. So the only way person 98 could be a truth teller and shake hands with 98 people is that person 98 would have shaken hands with person 0 to 97 who must all be truth tellers. But this would mean person 98 also shook hands with person 0 who is said to have shaken hands with zero truth tellers. Once again, this is possible only if 98 and 0 did not shake hands, which would make person 98 a liar, or person 0 shook hands only with liars which would once again mean person 98 is a liar. In either possibility, we can conclude person 98 is not a truth teller and therefore person 98 must be a liar. We will label person 98 accordingly. Now we can continue this process. We can inductively then prove that persons 97, 96, and so on all the way down to person one must all be liars. We'll label each person accordingly. What about person zero? 
We've already figured out that persons 1 to person 99 is a liar. Everyone else at the party is a liar. Therefore, person 0 necessarily shake hands with only liars. There are zero truth tellers that person 0 can shake hands with. This means person 0 is telling the truth and is therefore a truth teller. So the answer to this problem is that there are 99 liars, persons 1 to 99, and exactly one truth teller, which is person 0. Did you figure out this problem? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.